New at 6, with so many questions about inflation, interest rates, and the U.S. economy, we thought we'd take a closer look at what all of it means for your finances. Fox Foxville's Simon Gutierrez joins us now live in studio with what you should be thinking about when it comes to your own wallet right now. Yeah, for the average person, rising interest rates represent both challenges and opportunity. But it's not just a simple equation. We sat down with a local financial expert who helped break down the current situation when it comes to personal finances. What are the uh, just a couple of things that an ordinary person should be thinking about, be aware of uh, right now going forward in terms of their own financials? And now is a great time to do a financial inventory. So really looking at what your assets are, what your expenses are, what your income is. One of the tips I recommend is that you give every dollar coming into your household a job. And so those jobs might be things like paying your mortgage, but it also might be saving for a trip that you have upcoming. You're taking care of your required spending, but then also kind of saving for those uh, more fun things that you have on the horizon. Are there any ways that increased uh, interest rates can be a good thing? Yeah, for people that are savers, increased interest rates um, are good. It's going to take some patience. So you're not going to see those rates increase right away. But what people can do to take advantage of the current situation, because it is going to be slow over this year, is looking at what interest rates you're paying on current debts and see if there's still opportunity to refinance any of those debts, whether that's a mortgage, if you haven't refinanced your mortgage previously and you're still at a higher rate, there's still maybe opportunities for that kind of refinance, as well as looking at things like credit cards and listing out what are the different credit card debts that you have, what interest rates are you paying, and is there an opportunity to still take advantage of these low rates we have before they continue to go up? And one word of caution for people trying to build on their cash by saving. The rate of return will be going up slowly with interest rate increases predicted to be in the half percent range every three months or so. And while it's good to save and take advantage of that, you should also have enough cash on hand to keep up with rising expenses. I'm Simon Gutierrez, Fox 12 Warrior.